What's up guys, Michael here coming to you with another video on how to take screenshots on Samsung Galaxy S10. So I have three quickest ways to really take a screenshot. One of them doesn't really work that well, but let's, let's find it out. I will also talk about scrolling capture, which is really taking screenshots of those um, long articles that you may have on a web browser. So anyway, let's get down to it. So the quickest way to take a screenshot on your phone uh, especially Galaxy S10 would be to press two buttons and it's a volume down button and power button so these two buttons once you press it together just for two three seconds and you're gonna see that the screenshot has blinked uh, sorry the screen has blinked and we have the screenshot made and this is by far the quickest easiest way everyone does it this way so just two buttons and we have a quick screen shot where we can really kind of perform some edits so you can maybe crop it you can also draw on it um, so you can see I can I don't know pinpoint something here and wherever I save it or you also have the option to really quickly share it with your friends or on whatsapp wherever so that's the one way of doing it. The next one is using uh, Palm Swipe. So it's a feature that Samsung has enabled on many devices, including S10, as it's the, one of the flagship ones. So in order to do it, you have to enable that feature. Uh, so you have to go to settings and then advanced features, then motions and gestures, and you'd have that Palm Swipe to capture. So it shows you it says take a screenshot by swiping the edge of your hand across the screen so basically you'd have to perform this move now this gesture can be used while the keyboard is shown so it's only on screens without keyboard now i've tried it hundreds of times okay on screen off screen move it from with bigger distance shorter distance nothing really works and this is probably the most frustrating uh, way of taking screenshot, okay? It just doesn't work, or it will work once in a lifetime. Um, I had my previous phone where it worked so much better, but on S10, for some reason, um, doesn't really work that well. I've tried so many times, uh, I could be sitting here for hours and it wouldn't take a screenshot. Let's try it again. Nope. <laughs> okay, so if anyone knows how to how to do it, uh, let me know. Or maybe it works fine on your phone, but it doesn't on mine. Uh, so that's the second one. The third one is using Bixby. So as you know, the button below the volume button is a Bixby button. I have it set up to uh, press twice to enable it, um, but by default it would be one press. And generally you can. <clears throat> use the voice command to wake it up so you can say hi Bixby hi Bixby take a screenshot and it just takes a screenshot so that's also an easy way to take a screenshot um, it's by far I mean it's just a cool way of doing it okay my preferable way is still the buttons uh, but that's the third way how to enable Bixby so you have to press on the left side so for me it's double tap it could be one tap for you by default and then you'd have to go to settings of your Bixby and then <clears throat> sorry voice response always and you just have to make sure that voice wake up call is turned on this is enabled so once you have a hey Bixby, you can use it at, uh, on any screen. So let's say we'll go to YouTube. Chess. Hi Bixby. Take a screenshot. That's it. Done. So now another cool feature is that scrolling capture. So on scrolling capture, what you can really do is have those really long images or capturing that screen that normally would be like a long article on a web browser 
uh, it's very handy so what I will do I will just open maybe something let's say Russell Brand we have his podcast here it's quite a long page okay let's say I take a, I want to take a screenshot of the whole page from top to bottom so what I will do I will take a screenshot using either volume buttons or hi Bigsby take a screenshot and then you'd see that there is this arrow option going down so I can press on that and it just moves down a little bit and it shows me how much of image is captured here on the left side so I'm just going down and down and you can hold it so it's just creating that long screenshot and whenever you're done just let go of it gonna stop and just press on the screen any anywhere in the empty space and that screenshot is done so if I go right now to my photos oops, <laughs> um, and I look for that screenshot here it is this is one of them so it's a, like a super long super long screenshot and now I don't know why that screenshot wasn't wasn't saved for some weird reasons uh, but yeah it, it definitely works let's try it again so just I'm gonna start from here again this time two buttons together and just scrolling it down okay got it So scrolling it down, just really recording the long screen. Once I'm done, I just click to open it and then I have it. Super long screenshot. And that's super handy. Um, so that's it guys, um, these are kind of the three quickest ways to take the screenshot and yeah, scrolling capture, another cool feature that you can use on your Samsung S10. Uh, let me down in the comments below whether that's palm swipe, does that actually work for you? And whether you have any questions or comments, I appreciate any of them. And if you really enjoyed that video and it helped you in any way, I'd also appreciate subscription. Uh, if you could put that notification bell in the bottom right, that would be really handy. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoy your day and have a great one. Take care.